here, scholar, here, go. Back of the week, now, phone, shall it come to work, boy, in, uh, some assist, so, for, catch you, yeah, go. Hey, for me, now, we hear, go, bye, bye, from here, do it now. Hey, everyone, astronaut, I need here. Today, we are launching the lesser pods. Now, these pods were probably originally designed to be Mars lunar habitats, but this is Kribble, so I just launched four of them on top of an SLS, because that's the vehicle that was most likely used in Interstellar. Here we are, separating the stage and deploying. A pop burnout, the upper stage is going to be separated. And there we go. Perfect separation. Ignore the explosion. And here we are lifting off in the Ranger. Now, this vehicle is fun to fly, but a little tricky. Takes, took me about three tries to get this thing into orbit because of how slim the fuel markets are. Looks good, flies terrible. You know, KSB. But basically, what you want to do is fly about 15 degrees till you hit for a little over uh, 10 kilometers. Then you'll level out, burn to go as fast as physically possible. And then push that like and subscribe button as fast as physically possible. And once you get up to speed, roughly 1,000 meters per second, or a little over that preferably, and your fuel's down to about 700 units of liquid fuel, you check on the pilot to make sure he's ready to go, and then you switch to the main engine and begin pitching upwards. A little bit more, a little bit more, perfect. Now, once you've got yourself pitched up the right angle, you burn until your orbit is 75 kilometers. Once you're at that point, you shut off your engines, aim appropriate, just coast to your epigee, and you burn. Now, I like this vehicle because it has all the same functions as the Ranger from the movie, except for it doesn't have the ridiculous Delta V from the movie, because I make stock vehicles and I don't like to cheat. I really hate cheating. It just feels wrong to me. But if you enjoy cheating, you can modify it however you want. Let me know what you do. Now, upon our orbital insertion, we then line ourselves up with a rendezvous to the Lazarus pods, but before we do that, we have to actually get all the way to orbit. Now, here we are, coasting, and here's the view that the robot, quote-unquote, would have seen from behind the pilot, because the laser missions only carry one human and one robot. Here we are, here's our orbital transfer burn, and here's our rendezvous and undocking of the Lazarus pod. Alright, now we just coast up to it, so we're lined up for that belly ducking port. Alright, now the Lazarus pod was a little hard to make. It uh, is an odd shape, and they don't give you very many scenes of it in the movie, so I had to just eyeball it. I think I did a pretty good job, and it will be on Kerbal X if you want to download this vehicle or the Ranger. Now, we line ourselves up very carefully, we duck, alright, then we line ourselves up for a burn to the fuel station, which is pretty much obligatory and mandatory with a lot of my designs. Alright, once we've fueled every rocket fuel tank up, and I do mean every, takes all, all the fuel you can carry on these things. We unlock, and then we rotate the Lazarus pod so that way it's aimed out of the way. We fire the main engines and go. And then shut down. We coast around the sun, and where are we going? Eve. Yes, I figured the best way to show you the dramatic aspect of the Lazarus missions of them not being able to come back would be Eve. 
but I might try and rescue them. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Alright, we then undock the Lazarus pod and let the ranger carefully crash itself into the atmosphere because it's unmanned at the moment. It's not being piloted by the robot or anything fancy like that. The robot and the crew are hiding in the Lazarus pod, descending at roughly the same time this is. Though, in a much more controlled fashion. Alright, and there we go. Yet another piece of American junk sitting on the surface of another world. And now we begin approaching in the Lazarus pod, getting closer and closer and warmer and warmer and much warmer. Now, the thing about this Lazarus pod is you want to do multiple passes. That's true for any arrow breaking on any world far out. This, this thing will get toasty on reentry. There we go, there go the drill chutes and the main chutes. We're gonna descend rather slowly, so I'll just kinda skip forward a little bit. There we go. Drogue chutes have deployed. Main chutes have deployed. Alright, and we have... Touchdown. Touchdown to Lazarus Pod on Eve. Whether or not we'll rescue him is anyone's guess. Alright, do a little bit of science, figure out whether or not Kerbals can survive here. And it has been decided that this is a no. He salutes, accepting his fate. We then open the transmitter and say, don't come here, it's a dead end. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. I release a new video every week for your viewing pleasure. I am the astronaut. Let's fly.